Hey, good afternoon and welcome to MuscleModelCars.com. This is AJ, finally back with you. It's been a couple of weeks, I think, uh, since we uh, first uh, started on this uh, vehicle right here. It's a 1967 Mustang. This is continuing the tribute to um, the uh, military. And this is a particular one is going to be for the Air Force. Uh, this one is a 1967 Mustang, a 289 cubic inch engine underneath. Uh, we had to do some modifications with it, uh, but kind of explain what I did to it uh, to start off. It should have uh, just looked like a typical uh, Mustang GT. Okay, that's what it was. And then what we turned it into is a tribute to the armed forces. Uh, and particularly, specifically the Air Force uh, portion of it. And this is a, a, a Mustang GT, okay? And what we have is a um, generalization of what I uh, kind of uh, took off on a division of it would be the uh, the Air Force, but the squadron specifically is the Thunderbirds. Uh, the motto, Aim High, is specifically for um, the Air Force in general, but this particular squadron is for the air show, and what we did was we did a, um, a theme for um, the uh, Thunderbirds which performs the air shows, the squadron that does the air shows at uh, particular events. So I kind of, if you looked at the website, you'll see what the uh, F-16s that the Thunderbirds use in their air shows. And I kind of took a, a theme off of that with the uh, red on the front um, of a grill area, front area. And then I took a, uh, Red here, then I just put a few other, uh, you know, USA uh, symbolism from it. Uh, USAF, of course, you know, United States Air Force. Um, you, uh, we kept the emblem for the Mustang here, the fastback symbol on the plate, um, and then uh, we just painted uh, the front here red and if you look at the plane itself on a um, f-16 on the uh, for the thunderbirds they have a uh, the color kind of scheme that they have on the plane it's red on the front of the, the nose of the plane then they got the white in the middle uh, and then they got the uh, blue coming around the body like the cockpit area and then they have um, basically a some stripes on the wings so basically what I did there was I kind of did it like this here I don't want to make it slide too much but basically it's a um, the Thunderbird logo right here for the squadron they, they're the ones that do the air show but if I can tilt it a little more you might be able to see it but if you go online you know look it up the Thunderbirds uh, and uh, Gave it the U.S. Air Force theme right there. Gave it some thrusters, uh, decals on here to kind of indicate what the airplane does. And then um, with the thrusters on the back coming out. And then it's on the trunk of U.S. Air Force here. We didn't uh, glue the uh, trunk on there, but Basically, it uh, just fits right on, sits right there. And then uh, you can see the tailpipes coming out here, here, underneath dual exhaust, um, coming from the, um, uh, you got your headers underneath the front of the engine. Of course, I did the uh, chrome around here, around the lights, and then we did the, um, course I, I call them gills right here uh, for the uh, other um, look
look of what the airplane kind of looks like. And uh, this here, as I said, is the is like the thrusters coming out the back of the uh, airplane. And I just kind of try to use my own little creation. And then this here is the U.S. Air Force symbol all together with the eagle and and everything on the window would be a sort of like a see-through window. If this was a vehicle I would I had a Mustang, this is how I would do it. And that's all it is. And then if you look at the logo, you can see the Thunderbirds and then their logo. And then you see the airplanes in the middle of that white star. Okay, and the stripes again, red, white, and blue, America, go USA. Uh, then we have the um, uh, tires on here, the 70s. They're all stock tires, kind of. Uh, blacked, blacked out. They came chrome, but I wanted to kind of give it a stock look. Um, I added the hood scoop on here since it was Air Force, like an airplane suck in the air to get the engine cooled. And then the thrusters out the back come in here, uh, kind of symbolizing what an airplane does, okay? And that it flies like an airplane. So I kind of went that route. Um, what else I have? The inside, the cockpit area, you can see it's kind of black and red. As you can see, we uh, did it to kind of uh, simulate um, the keep in theme with the red, white, and blue. Um, and uh, with the logo aim high, I feel like that's the. Uh, they're the appropriate theme for this particular vehicle. I'm going to pick it up a little bit, kind of tilt it towards you so you look at it from the top. It kind of looks like an airplane coming with the thrusters coming out. Actually, that blue stripe on the front to me looks like a, a, a stealth almost if it was black. If you, if you know anything about the uh, stealth, it's shaped like a V pretty much. At least that's what it is to me. Kind of gives it a look like that from the top, but this is actually in color coordinated with the way it looks on a um, actual airplane on the actual F-16. Okay, so that's what I did there. The inside of the vehicle, like I said, is I did the steering wheel, and then I put a tachometer on there on the dashboard up here at the top. You can see it. it, it it's kind of small, but it's right there right in front of the steering wheel on the dashboard. Um, red and gray sh seats in there. Uh, as you can see, the back seats there. We kind of got it stock on the outside, but got it kind of custom on the inside, okay? And then with this here, the wheels we have, again, I kind of did that on my own. That's why it took me so long to get back with you guys is because I had to kind of create it as I went, and some things I had to kind of make sure I could get it designed to make it look, um, you know, how I would have it on a, on a drag strip or something on a racetrack, okay? Of course, you got 1967 on the back, and you got the tailpipes coming out on the back right there. You have... Um, Aim high on there, the logo. You got the vents on the side here, right there. Uh, do you actually get decals? Now I'm going to tell you something about this particular vehicle. It was kind of tough because what happened was I had a, um, a situation where I had to, another reason why it took so long is because underneath here, okay, this front suspension came into part different pieces and you had to let certain pieces dry before you got to the other portion and then after that you had to put the um, springs on there and then you had to attach the springs parts you attach to the, the undercarriage the chassis and then other parts of it you had to attach along by itself to the front suspension and let that dry before you could even assemble that to put onto the chassis this was this one is, is not an easy one to do for this particular um, kit, uh, but we eventually we uh, we got it done. 
and we uh, took our time with it, and uh, it wasn't a, a quick job, okay? And we uh, kind of kept it as uh, neat as possible, but again, there was a lot of uh, a lot of uh, patience needed with this particular guy, and still to this, while I'm doing this video, I'm still drying some of it of that suspension because even as I was getting through with it and trying to prepare for this show, uh, you end up moving stuff too much and it's going to come apart. So with this particular kit, it's, it's very tedious and it's going to take a lot of patience and uh, relaxing. Uh, when I say relax, you got to be patient that let one thing dry to and work on something else while it, it dries and come back to it maybe the next day because it doesn't dry it necessarily too quickly. And then we have this uh, right here, the hood scoop. Uh, I kind of created that. I didn't like the fact that this was by uh, without the hood scoop. It kind of looked like just a regular GT. I wanted to give it a little more muscle look to it for the military, for the Air Force. And uh, so I kind of added this on my own. And if you got parts or whatever from other kits, you can kind of build this on your own. Uh, gave it the blue fog type of lights up, up here, up front. And then here, I'm going to possibly uh, put my turn signals in under here. Uh, I'll just paint those in. That goes on the bottom. And then on the side here, we don't really um, have too much going on other than this little you know, to keep it in the spirit of the uh, flame of a plane or the combustion and the exhaust system of something flying, you know, kind of give it a little pretty look there. Then we gave it a little of this here, look right here, okay, red, white, and blue on the hood scoop right there, and the, of course the Thunderbird symbol, so that's good, this here, I like, okay. And other than that, we, we're done with this guy here. I'm going to move on next to probably um, the Navy will be next. Uh, we're going to let this guy dry. Uh, the front suspension, I'm just got one part that needed to dry. That I didn't kind of like it. It was kind of wobbly because uh, I was messing with it. But uh, uh, the interior red and I uh, got the um, silver look inside. The tachometer on the... Uh, dashboard I got the logo the Air Force logo right here that star right there um, kind of get it where you can see it a little bit right there but in a real car it, had, it would have to be see-through you can't block your vision and like this this here as you can see the wheel here that's just the way it's sitting right now because I got it on this cutter stool but it's not loose it's just dried at a weird angle so, of course, you know you get that, but you can adjust it still before it gets too hard. So, with that being said, this is pretty much the end of what we have for the Air Force. I could have put more stuff on it, but I thought it had enough right now. I wanted to put right here, United States Air Force. So, rather than putting all this, uh, all this on here, I decided to go with putting it on the hood, U -A -U -A, right there, USAF, and then also the um, the rear as well with the exhaust, like the thrusters that um, coming out the back of a plane. And as far as neatness goes, when you're creating, I find that you end up doing something. And you got a little black up in here on the inside, on the interior right there. Um, you know, on the door, on inside of the door panel. But you find that you end up not being as um, neat and uh, look so, so uh, professionally done. It's more uh, something that you end up creating like you would in your own garage. Uh, you you kind of make it up as you go. So this... I never. I drew up a few things uh, of how I wanted it. After I kind of viewed it on an airplane, 
I couldn't make up my mind which airplane I wanted to go with, with the Air Force, the F-16. I think they got an F-35. So I went with one that's kind of common, which is that F-16 uh, uh, Thunderbird Squadron right here, what we showed right here. Everybody kind of knows that their planes, so uh, to keep it kind of uh, neutral for everybody, I, I, I wanted to do it that way. So, uh, of course, kept the wheels stock black instead of chrome. I don't always like chrome all the time. Uh, I, I feel this this is this is more of a stock type of car more than custom. This is what you'd see on the track for representing to me a. a the Air Force representing a stock kind of car uh, built for racing, uh, more so than a street street racing. This is more built for a track, uh, track racing. So this is it. This is kind of where I'm at. This is what I got. Let me know what you think. Um, I, I'm go going to be working on a Navy next. I got a couple of ideas of how I want to do that. I like those tires uh, with the white wall. Uh, on there and this is a very 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 cool firestone tires 70s all around um, I like the hood scoop up added to it I like the logo aim high for the Air Force of course you're in the sky so you got to aim high okay so uh, and uh, we call them flyboys or whatever but uh, that's uh, uh, they definitely got the equipment uh, I'm very uh, I got two nephews nephews that went in uh, to the Air Force and they uh, one just went in this year and another one went in, went in last year oh well I'm sorry year before last uh, and they are very very uh, very knowledgeable guys and uh, I think uh, one of them uh, well two of them actually do really good work for the Air Force I, uh, I can't really say exactly what it is because I don't know so but I will say that uh, they represent me uh, they got when they got my two nephews I feel I'm a little biased but they got some knowledgeable young men in there so the Air Force is very uh, a great place to go and uh, they do aim high and I, I believe they uh, just like all the military of the United States aim high they have their mottos. Aim high, I think, is a good one for the Air Force, and uh, they kind of uh, keep you uh, they keep you interested with the, all the new aircrafts and everything that they have. Uh, if I was to go back in, I, I, I you know I thought about the Air Force. I just didn't want to. Uh, if I did go in, I would have been the guy that wanted to fly the planes, but. Um, being an engineer type of a guy uh, in, in drawing and architecture, architecture, I liked the fact that I was in the uh, First Cavalry Division of the military and doing things to build, uh, you know, I would have had to help uh, build certain things that got torn, torn down or whatever and, uh, and use creativity with my artwork and stuff like that. So tell me what you think about this guy right here. Again, for the Air Force, um, I hope someone that uh, anyone that likes the Air Force or was in the Air Force, my tribute. Thank you for your service. Thank you for uh, watching, going along with us on this guy right here, and uh, we will uh, get back with you back uh, with uh, the next build. I think is going to be. A 67 all the bills that, that I'm doing are 67s so the next one is a 67 uh, I think it is a uh, this is going to be the Navy so I think uh, I'm gonna do a, a Chevy uh, Impala I think that's the one I'm gonna choose for the for the Navy but it's going to be a stock it's not gonna be your Grandpa's uh, 67 Impala. We go soup it up a little bit, make it look, look make it look nice, and uh, move on uh, for the our celebration of the military and our tribute to the military for the month of no November. 
So I want to get all of them because after that, I'm going to do another one more. I want to say I'm, I'm not sure if I can get that one done before November is out. But let's see how if I can get the Navy going pretty quick. I got the Navy. I got the Marines. And then I got the uh, another vehicle that I'm going to try to do with uh, respect to the, uh, the, uh, the armed forces. Okay. So uh, stick with us on this one. Uh, this one, we'll call it done. Um, and I hope you like it. Let me know what you think. Again, um, it was a pleasure doing this one uh, and kind of coming up with things as I went. But I will, like I said, tell you that the front suspension on this guy ain't no joke putting it together and, or the rear. Okay. So just beware when you get this particular GT kit. You're going to have to be patient with it because if you're not, you might just say forget about it for a while because a lot of times I can't believe it took me this long for, and and uh, and uh, kind of kind of aggravated me a little bit. And I ain't going to lie. I did get aggravated, but I, I, I uh, had to come up with different ideas for the symbolism and what I wanted to do with it before I showed it to you guys. But I wanted to do it, complete it. Uh, a winner never quits, and a quitter never wins. So always aim high. All right. So this is AJ saying thank you guys for keeping up with us with this particular build, and we will see you next time uh, with the uh, beginning portions of the Navy. I'm going to do the Navy. I'm not going to tell you which one type of vehicle that is, but I will tell you it's a 1967, and then it'll be uh, – be a uh, in the in the spirit of muscle to show the muscle that we have in our military okay and uh, have a good Sunday and uh, we'll see you next time on musclemodelcars.com this is AJ don't forget to uh, check us out uh, on um, to see all our bills on uh, our channel on YouTube and please subscribe to us let us know what you think what you'd like to see if you have some ideas, and then after this, after these, the tribute here, I think maybe uh, may start in December going toward doing something a little bit different. I can't tell you what it is, but it's going to be, might kind of freak some people out, but hey, it, it's what's in here. That's what matters. Keep the mind sharp, okay? All right. Uh, Thank you. Have a good Sunday, and we'll see you next time. I hope you like this. Uh, a tribute to uh, the Air Force uh, on musclemodelcars.com. And stay safe, stay happy, and go America. Okay? Here we go. Hope she's looking good to you guys. Now I gotta let it dry now. I'm kind of make, I'm kind of making it mad under me. <laughs> All right. All right. Take care. Bye bye.